So my co-host at Trinity Radio, Braxton Hunter, Dr. Braxton Hunter, he made a video on our channel asking Christian YouTubers seven questions. And so in this week's video, I am going to answer those questions because he poses these questions to Christian YouTubers. And even though I am a Christian YouTuber on that channel, uh, at least on Fridays during the live stream with uh, Braxton, I also have this channel. So I decided I was going to go ahead and answer his seven questions for Christian YouTubers. And so let's hear what these questions are. So without further ado, here are seven questions for Christian YouTubers in 2022. Number one, what do you mean when you say you are a Christian? So when I say that I am a Christian, I mean that I am a believer and follower of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is Israel's Messiah and the world's true Lord. He uh, is the second person of the Trinity. Uh, he is the Logos who became incarnate, uh, born of the Virgin Mary, lived a sinless life, was put to death by Pontius Pilate, a gruesome death on the cross, in which he paid the penalty for our sins. And then he was buried, and then he rose again on the third day, and then he commissioned his apostles and ascended to the right hand of the Father in heaven. So that is what I mean when I say that I am a Christian. I believe in and follow Jesus Christ. Number two, what is the purpose of your channel? Good question. Uh, I do this channel because... Uh, about three years ago, I was having health issues. I was overweight. I was weak, having all kinds of problems. I've detailed my, uh, what I call fitness saga uh, on this channel. You can uh, go find that video where I explain uh, my whole ordeal. No need to rehash it there. But a lot of people uh, said that they were, you know, very uh, inspired by what I had done and that they wanted to get in shape and get healthier and all of that. So uh, I decided, you know what, why don't I start a channel because I'm a theology geek and there are a lot of theology geeks out there who uh, obviously have the free time uh, to watch YouTubers and things like that and listen to their favorite sermons and podcasts and all of that. Uh, so uh, they also, a lot of them, uh, let's just say Christians in general, not all Christians, but a lot of Christians, you go to any church on any Sunday morning and they are kind of a heavier bunch <laughs> you know uh, christians need to get more serious about fitness and i know a lot of christian fitness people who would agree with me and echo that sentiment and then when you talk to people they they just don't know where to get started well they're not going to gyms um and i started in a gym but uh, i stopped going to the gym uh, when they were closed down and then i just got into getting uh, relatively inexpensive home gym equipment and so i thought well i'm able to do this and now I don't even have to go to the gym anymore. Why don't I share what I've learned and discovered and review these products and all these kind of things and show what I'm doing and, and demonstrate that you can get in really great shape um, without having to go, to, unless you'd like gyms, go to the gym or whatever and nothing against gyms. But, but I mean, a lot of Christians obviously aren't and, and, and they need to do something. And here's something they could do at home while they watch Trinity Radio or while they watch Mike Winger or while they watch... Uh, what do you mean? Or why they watch? Or while they watch um, Adam Coleman or one of these uh, awesome Christian YouTube? There's a lot of awesome Christian YouTubers out there. But I started my channel to try to encourage and motivate um, fellow Christians to get in better shape. Number three: To what extent do you include considerations about spiritual content, like prayer or guidance? Well, um, this is I am a Christian doing a fitness channel. Uh, more so than saying this is a Christian fitness channel. But I do get preachy. In fact, one of my most viewed videos is me being all preachy. Uh, so it does come up from time to time. But I'm not trying to uh, shoehorn it in just for its own sake. Like, you know, here's a sandbag. Let me, you know, uh, like the sands of the sea. So Abraham's children are like the sands of the seashore. You know, Abraham's children will be as numerous. And try to, I don't try to just like force it. Um, but, um, in our Facebook group, you can go to Facebook, search in the groups, Theology Geek Fitness. We do a lot of praying for one another and support for one another, encouragement, motivation. And there is some of that here, but um, not a whole lot. You know, I try to keep the video short and straight to the point. So uh, it does come out uh, on occasion. And 
like I said, when it does, the views typically go up. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, I'm just trying to, you know, get straight to the point. Here's what you need. Here's why you need it, you know. But it, it does come out some. But in the Facebook group, it's a, it's a lot more present there because we're encouraging and motivating one another, praying for one another, holding each other accountable and things like that. Number four, if someone asks you why they should be a Christian, what do you say? Number I say, look, um, the creator of the cosmos is the source for all that we see, right? And you should become a Christian because, uh, number one, to be in relationship with your creator and to be uh, a follower of, of Jesus Christ for its own sake, it's because he is worthy of it because everything that is good in this world is owed to him. And think about it this way, though. Uh, if, if I came into your house and I started destroying the place and started to get violent with your family or whatever, you're going to want justice for that. Um, you're going to want something to happen to me. You're not going to want me to just get off scot-free. Well, uh, the cosmos is God's. It belongs to him. This is his temple. And so we have come in and we have wrecked it and destroyed it with all kinds of sin and wickedness and evil. And so that, that needs uh, to be punished. There needs to be justice for that. However, Jesus Christ, the second person of the Trinity, became incarnate and he died on the cross to pay that penalty for us if we would just trust in him and turn from our sin and follow him. And so he bore the punishment for our sins. And so we no longer have to live separated from God. Uh, we don't have to, you know, be punished. We don't have to be cast into hell. Yes, I don't have a problem talking about hell. Um, you need to be warned of that. But avoiding hell, you know, or going to heaven and to live for all eternity in the new heavens and the new earth, that's only great because God's there. It's an eternity with him because he is worthy of it. And so first and foremost, you should become a Christian because God is worthy of your faithfulness and your service. And two, um, because it gives you um, a new or a renewed life to where you can live in service to him by serving others in the family of Christ. And so it's transformative that way, where it changes your whole disposition to where you're not, no longer trying to be self-centered and self-focused and you're, you're outward focused um, for its own ends, not so that you can pat yourself on the back for it, but because it really does reorientate the way that you think. So you should become a Christian because number one, God is worthy of it too, to avoid uh, the punishment that all sinners deserve, uh, and, and and three, uh, because it renews your life and it, it just makes all all the good in the world even better, and it makes all the trials and hardships of the world bearable. So that's why you should become a Christian. Number five, what Christian beliefs or commitments do you think are essential for for salvation? I think to be a Christian, one needs to affirm all of the essential Christian doctrines that I think are best expressed in the way Norman Geisler once expressed it, whereas we have the one Bible with two testaments. You have three creeds. You have the Apostles' Creed, the Nicene Creed, and the Athanasian Creed. You have the first four ecumenical councils, uh, Nicaea, Constantinople, Ephesus, and Chalcedon, and then you have where the early church fathers and the, the consensus of the first five centuries of the church, where they all agree. They didn't agree on a whole lot of things, uh, but where they did agree, those are probably the essential beliefs uh, that you can be sure are proper doctrine. So uh, one Bible, two testaments, three creeds, four councils, and the consensus of the first five centuries, and that is affirmed east and west Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox, everyone can affirm uh, those essential beliefs. And I think that is uh, to separate Christians from heretical cults and others, uh, religious beliefs uh, out there and religious practices. Those are the essential beliefs, uh, I think, that are necessary for salvation. Because those are they all come from the one Bible laid out in the two testaments, right? The three creeds are a good summary statement. The four councils nail down what's out of bounds and where the consensus agreed. You know that's that's sure doctrine. So I I would I would say that that's what uh, is essential to be identified as a Christian uh, who's saved. Number six, besides making silly videos with lists of questions like this one, what do you wish other Christian YouTubers would do differently? Number 
I wish more Christian YouTubers would promote health and wellness and fitness primarily by example and also in uh, some of the content they push out, uh, kind of like what I try to do here Give a, on this channel. I've given like a biblical theological, you know, explanation of why we need to be good stewards of our bodies and i'd like to see let's normalize christians as you know and christian youtubers have people who admire them i know that just like pastors kind of set the set the standard for the church in, in a lot of ways i know people don't like to hear that they do but they actually do um if you don't like your pastor and think he's someone to admire and look up to find a different church you know if you don't admire the people that you spend an hour watching their content on youtube find someone that you can admire shouldn't you know just watch the stuff you know listen to people and take their words if you don't respect them so i know that we have influence uh not this channel of course because this channel obviously uh you know i two years on uh 500 not even at 500 subscribers the average video gets uh 30 to 60 views uh with the occasional one that underperforms and the occasional one that overperforms right so so clearly i'm in this to be a huge influencer no i'm just kidding uh, but you know I, I, even not this channel there are far better fitness channels than this one like i mean this channel obviously uh is is not big but the niche of theology geek fitness yeah i mean that was never destined to go anywhere but i would like to see other christian youtubers uh, talk about health and fitness and encourage christians to do better because uh, christians um they you know they could use it number seven what is the best thing that has happened as a result of your experience as a christian youtuber well okay so it it would be one thing to say, as a Christian YouTuber on this channel, on Trinity Radio, Trinity Radio Extra, it would be one thing to say that we've received all these letters, uh, you know, from people who have given their lives to Christ, and that is awesome, and they have renewed their faith because of the contents on our channel. Uh, even the occasional people that support this channel, my patrons and uh, patrons and those who, who have benefited from this channel, you know, I love to hear those kind of things, but really... The best experience I have as a YouTuber is every Friday on the live stream Trinity Radio sitting in that studio with you, Braxton Hunter. You are my best friend in the whole world. You are a great boss here at the seminary, by the way. Braxton Hunter is also Dr. Braxton Hunter. Uh, he is the president of Trinity College of the Bible and Theological Seminary, where I am the vice president of academic affairs. I work for him, but we also have the YouTube channel, uh, Trinity Radio. And the best experience I have is every Friday sitting in there with you, bud. It's the wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. So I know that this video was a little bit different than the usual content uh, that you find on this channel, but I wanted to answer my friend's questions um, because I thought that they were good ones. And uh, of course, it's, uh, you know, it's good to put a statement out there. Why are you doing this? Well, there you go. There's why I'm doing this. So I hope you found this video enjoyable. If you like the video, click the like button. Uh, share it around with your friends. If you didn't like it, click the dislike button. Don't care either way. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't uh, and watch some other videos and see what you like. Uh, and if you want to support what we're doing at Theology Geek Fitness, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash Theology Geek Fitness and get all kinds of bonus content, full workouts with the types of equipment that I uh, feature on this channel, uh, no audio, so you don't have to hear me uh, counting reps and telling you to let's let's keep going and you got this and my glutes are on fire. You don't have to hear me say any of that stuff. It's dead silent so that you can watch your favorite uh, Christian YouTuber or your listen to your favorite uh, podcast uh, while you follow along with the workouts and all of the support that I get through uh, Patreon is reinvested in this channel so I can continue to purchase products and review them and then the products that I uh, either don't like or do like but won't be using I, I, i'm going to be giving them back to the patrons and say hey you help pay for this so does anyone want this odd thing i'll just ship to you for free uh, so consider that uh hope that if you're a christian or even a non-christian watching this that that if you need to get in shape and you need to look around for things uh, make use of this channel there's a lot of other probably better fitness channels out there but uh follow this one as well anyway i appreciate you watching this video we'll see you in the next one god bless